Hi everyone, Amber Gray, founder and CEO here at Trust the Oak. I hope you enjoyed the long three day weekend and that you're rested and recharged for the week. I definitely took some time down and bought an inflatable kiddie pool in my front yard and it was the best decision of my quarantine so far, by far, uh, because I created my own little happy place in my yard and hung out poolside uh, for the whole weekend. It was wonderful. Uh, I, I wanna talk today about something that I touched on quite a bit last week in my webinar, how to create a seamless delegation system. And a big piece of that focus was on communication, a key part to any good delegation system in business operations. It's obviously important for every aspect of your business, but one of the things that people don't realize is that it is quite different in the way you communicate, even with the right tools in place, with the way you set your expectations around communication for a remote team versus one that is in person. So I wanna talk a little bit more about that and explain it through the lens of Matt Mullenweg's five levels of remote working model. So level one is nothing remote and a lot of companies before COVID-19 were operating in nothing remote. There were still quite a few that were possibly trying to be remote, uh, but it's still something new and, and they're adjusting to that whole process. Even you right now may be adjusting to moving into a remote atmosphere for your business. So the next level up is office recreation. This is normally where people are because it's just how our brains work. We're trying to recreate what we know in the virtual environment, but it just isn't the answer for successful remote communication. The next level, level three, taking advantage, is a really good place to be, certainly where we wanna to aspire to be right now. And ultimately, we wanna get into level four, asynchronous, or level five, nirvana. So that word asynchronous, a lot of people may not be familiar with it, so I wanna talk about the difference between synchronous and asynchronous for just a minute. Synchronous communication requires that all parties in the conversation have to be able to sync up in real time the same schedule, the same place, or at least the same Zoom link to collaborate and get things done together. This is a little bit harder to do, especially when you're remote and you've got distractions that you didn't have when you were in the office. You've got your home distractions. You may even have the whole distraction of what is my work schedule? I'm maybe starting later than I used to, or I'm having to juggle things with my kids or a partner in the house or whatever it may be. There are so many different things that are affecting your productivity in the remote work world. So this is something that's gonna help you get more out of the, the experience of being remote because you don't wanna, you wanna strive for something that is more than just synchronous communication. That's harder to do when you're remote. So what we're striving for is asynchronous communication and workflow, which means I work when I can work, I pass it around to you, I get feedback from you when you're ready to work, and we still accomplish the same thing, but nobody has to perfectly align and sync up schedules and uh, locations and all of those, those pieces that are required for the office type of work that you may be used to. Synchronous is great if you're needing to collaborate and we don't necessarily wanna eliminate it completely, but asynchronous is what you need to be striving for in the remote world. So if you are planning on continuing to work remote and this is something that you wanna do well within your team, then look for ways to move into an asynchronous workflow, asynchronous communication, set up your business systems to support that asynchronous mindset, which means I'm gonna work when I work, you work when you wanna work, and we're still gonna get things done. Our productivity is going to go up because of this style of working. There's not a paid promotion of any kind, but there's one tool that's gonna make your life a lot easier if you're striving for asynchronous workflows and communication in your business. Go to loom.com, get this free app. It is excellent. It has been a game changer for our business. I have used it just about every day. And the reason why it's such a great tool, and I won't harp on it too long, is that it brings the personal touch back into the communication that you are trying to recreate from the office. You miss that uh, stop by somebody's desk, that interaction to be able to talk to people, see their face, see their body language. 
Loom brings that back to the conversation when you're remote, but keeps it asynchronous as well. It's not the same as getting on Zoom and actually being in a meeting and collaborating, but you can get a lot of benefit from screen recording, turning on the video, showing your face, narrating through a task that you're doing or uh, an idea you're thinking about, whatever it may be. Then it creates a link that all you have to do is copy and paste into an email or Slack and send it over. So this tool is really great for, for communicating more complex bits of information without having to sync up in a synchronous environment with someone else. So uh, this tool will make your life so much easier. Take the time to check it out. Give it a test drive this week. I promise it's gonna help you and uh, it's gonna be fun too to actually see those faces that you're not used to seeing nearly as much. So uh, give Loom a try, shoot me a Loom if you uh, want somebody to test on. I'd love to receive your first Loom ever if you wanna give it a run. Just email amber at trusty oak, I'd love to get your Loom. So start with this one easy tool. I promise it's going to make life a little bit easier for you if you are in the remote world right now. If you've got other questions about tools that you want to explore for streamlining your business operations to work well remotely, uh, even activating some automation within the process, give us a call. We love talking about setting up systems. Our motto is always to automate as much as possible so that we can more efficiently use people where those human touch points are needed. So it's always going to be a good mix of automation and human interaction. Uh, but the more you can automate and the more you can use remote cloud-based tools to move your, your business through the processes that they have, the more time you're going to save for important interactions with people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.